this video we will discuss the problem sum of two numbers without using arithmetic operations previously this problem has been asked in microsoft so the problem says that you will be given two integers a and b and what you have to do is you have to find the sum of these two numbers without using the arithmetic operations right so let's suppose that if you have been given the number one of the numbers as a and the other number as b so you can directly apply the arithmetic operation uh, plus operation and you can do a plus b and you can directly return that but the problem says that you do not need to apply any arithmetic operations and you have to find the sum of both the numbers a and b right so how you can do this so suppose that i have the number let's say a is 5 and b is 2 right so one of the ways to do this could be that what i do is i run a loop for int i starts from 1 right and i is lesser equal to b right and i do an i plus plus and basically what does this mean that i run a loop basically b number of times right i run a loop basically b times and then what i do is i apply the increment operation that is i do a plus plus right and if i do that so first of all i will be one right when i is one in that case a plus plus will be done so a will change from five to six right after that i will increment to two and it is lesser equal to i is lesser equal to 2 right i is lesser equal to 2 because second time i is equal to 2 i is lesser equal to 2 then in that case a will again increment so it will change to 7 right next time i changes to 3 and 3 is not lesser than 2 that's why 3 is not lesser equal to 2 so that's why the loop will terminate and basically this loop will run two times and i will be able to do uh, uh, 5 plus 1 plus 1 that is nothing but 7 right so one by one i will be able to do it but there is another way to do it right this could be the basic way to do it using the increment operations right a, a plus plus operations but i can do this in a more smarter way right since you can see that what what basically i am doing in this particular problem is i've been given the numbers right i've been given the numbers let's say a has been given to me as 5 and if you give me b as 2 right so if i have to do it without arithmetic operations then that means a particular number i have to add these numbers without uh, arithmetic operations right and if i have to do that so that means i have to change the numbers like every number is made up of bits right every number is can be represented in terms of bit and basically i should be changing the number uh, the bits in such a way such that i get the final answer right so let's say if i have been given 5 5 plus 2 is nothing but 7 we all know that and if i have to uh, write the notation for 5 so the representation for 5 would be nothing but 101 right because 1 2 4 so this is uh, the note, uh, representation for 5 and what is the representation for 2 the representation for 2 is nothing but 1 and 0 right and like what what answer will i get i will get the answer 7 if i add them up right and do i know any particular operation that can like what is uh, what is the answer the answer is basically 7 and how do i get 7 7 i can get like 7 7 is basically 1 1 1 so all the bits will be set right because if you do 1 to 4 so you'll see that you uh, are getting this number 7 right and like how can i get 1 1 1 here right is there any operation that can help me to get 1 1 1 here yes there is one operation and that particular operation is known as the zor operation let let's quickly talk about its uh, property so if a bit is 0 and i zor it with 1 so i get 1 if a bit is 1 i zor it with 0 I get 1. If a bit is 1, I zor it with 1, so I get 0. If a bit is 0, I zor it with 0, so I get what? 0. So if the bits are same, in that case, what will I get? If the bits are same, in that case, I'll get 0. If the bits are different, then I'll get a 1, right? So that's basically the concept of uh, of uh, zor. So basically, if I do the zor here, so this this will also be 0. So 0 zor, uh, 1 zor 0 is 1. 0 zor 1 is 1. 1 zor uh, 0 is 1, right? So you can see that I'm getting the number nothing but 7, right? So that's how I can get it. But is this the uh, only situation? Now, will you say that you just need to do A or B and you'll get this number, right? Basically, this is not true, right? If, let's say, instead of this 2, if I give you this number 3, right? Instead of this 2, suppose that uh, instead of B is equal to 2, suppose that I give you the number 3. In that case, the answer is going to be what? The answer is going to be nothing but 8. And what is the answer 8? So, I can say that the answer 8 is nothing but what? 8 can be represented in this form. Let's say if I have to represent 8, so 8 can be represented at, as what? 0, 0, 0 and 1 because 1, 2, 4 and 8, right? So this is how you represent 8. Now you can see this is the representation. And now let's say what is uh, what is this? This is B and this is the number A, right? So now you see that if you are doing the ZOR operations, right? If you are doing the ZOR operations, this is nothing but A that's representing 5. And this is 0, 1, 1 is representing 3, right? If you do the ZOR operations, so 1, ZOR, 1 will be what? It will be 0, right? And then, uh, then what will happen? Uh, 0, 0 and ZOR 1 will be 1. And then 1, ZOR 0 will be 1, right? So what number I am getting? I am getting 1. 
the like uh, one two four so that's nothing but six i'm getting the number six but i am expecting the number to be eight right so am i getting the right answer no i'm not getting the right answer why is that so because what is happening basically is you can see these two bits right observe these two bits these two bits are one and when they are one so basically you know how to add bits right so basically you can see that if if you are doing this thing right if you have one zero one and you have zero one one so you can see this part that these two since these two bits are one uh, like so that's why what will happen actually what should have happened is this should become zero and one should get carried right and then one and one will be again zero and then one will get carried so one and one will again be zero so zero and one and one will be zero and then one will get carried so this is how the number should look like actually right so that's why i should also focus on the carry part right basically they there is a sum that i will make right there is a sum that i'll make but i should also focus on the carry part right i should also focus on the carry part because that that is another thing that's pretty much important right let's say instead of this b if uh, suppose that i take an easier example right instead of this suppose that i took the example of this thing suppose if my b was equal to 1 then in that case the representation would be 0 0 1 right and if i if i if i expect the answer so i'm expecting the answer to be 6 right and 6 is what 6 is nothing but i guess 1 1 0 right and if you will if you will do the zor for these so that's gonna be nothing but 1 0 1 right so is that the right answer that i should expect no basically i'm getting 5 but i should have got 6 now why is that so because i'm not focusing on the carry part right because basically focus on this part 1 0 1 0 0 1 so if i do the if i do the addition kind of thing so one and then one should get carried and then one and then uh, and then with this thing right so this should get zero like this uh, one and one will be zero right so one one and zero right so that's how i'll get this answer right basically you see this part that oh, this uh, see the leftmost bit one and one it should be zero and then one should be carried here right so one should get carried the moment one gets carried so one zero zero is one then one right so basically i'm doing the all operations here so you can see that's how the bit should look like but actually it's not looking like, like that right so basically instead apart from this sum apart from this door i should also focus on the carry part right so how do i focus on the carry part let's try and see what number i'm getting from here right if i'm doing the door operation right this is nothing but what i'm getting through the door operation right and this is nothing but the sum that i'm getting so through the door operation i'm getting this as 101 right now how do how do i get a one here, right how do i get a one at this particular position or how, like basically how do i get this thing right sorry this part will be zero sorry right this part will be zero one one and one zor will be zero right so you can, yes you can see that we are getting one zero zero how do i get this place one right so basically how do i get that so you will be able to observe this part that basically if you have been given the number one zero one right and zero zero one so what i can do is if i if i what if i do the uh do this thing suppose that what i do is i do an operation that is uh nothing but an and operation right what if i do and and operation between the two a and b so if i do an and operation so what will happen this this bit will become one this will, bit will be zero this bit will be zero right so all all the places where like uh, what is an and operation right what is an and operation if a, if i do one and one so it will give me one right if i give uh, if i do zero and one so i'll get zero right so basically both the bits should be set in that case i'll get one right so i am getting this thing right but what like i'm getting this bit is set right and that is perfectly fine but can i say that i want to shift this bit to this right i sh want to shift this bit one towards the uh, one towards this side right one towards the left i want to left shift this bit right i want i want this to behave like this i want this to be like like this right kind of this thing i want right so that what i can do is i can do something like this right suppose that i can do something like this and then i'll get this answer right 110 right you can observe this part so that's why for the carry part right for the carry part what i can observe is that if i do the and right if i do the and if i do a and b then i will get the carry bits right uh, in that case i'll get that okay if this bit is if both the bits were one right so in that case this bit will be one but i don't want this bit to be one right i want it to become the next bit right because if this and this is one so this will become zero but i want this to become one right so basically what happens is basically what happens is you can see this part one and one will be what it should be zero and like that's perfectly fine but one and one itself is uh, like itself one and one should be one but it it will be here zero but it should get carried as one right so that's why if at this particular position one and one it's giving you a one here so i should sh shift it one towards the left okay so that's why what i can do is i can do a, a and b and left shift one right uh, left shift one so in that case this this will get shifted here right and that's how i can generate the complete number right that's how i can generate the complete number because because what happens in that case is i'll tell you this part let's try and quickly have a dry run for this case right so basically what will happen with this part right suppose suppose you give me the number a as 
one and b is uh, b uh, a is five and b is one right so if i have this uh, number a right and b so what i'll get is i'll get the sum that is nothing but the zor right so the zor value will be what zor value you can see that it's it seems to be nothing but one zero zero right it will be nothing but one zero zero because uh, like one then zero and zero right so it will be one zero zero now what i can say is i have the carry part as well right i have the carry part as well how will i get the carry part so one zero one and zero zero one right if i do the and for these two so what will i get i'll get zero here uh like not zero here sorry if i'm doing the uh, and operation so i'll get a one here i'll get a zero here i'll get a zero here right so you can see at this position now if i if whatever carry i'm getting right carry is nothing but a and b right I just left shift it to by one, right? If I just if if I just left shift this value by one, so what happens? This this one should be here, right? Because this one and one should be zero, and this carry should one should be here, right? That's what it that's what should happen. So basically, what will happen? This will become nothing but zero one zero, right? That's how it should behave like. And then after that, what I can say is, after that I can update my a and b, right? After that I can update my b and a and b, and I will keep on doing this until my carry is zero, right? Suppose that if this was the case, like one zero one. And this thing, right? If this was A, this was B, right? If A was five and B was two, in that case, I can simply zor, and I'm not getting any any carry, so I'll I'll not do anything forward, right? But I can see that since I'm getting the carry, right? Since I'm getting the carry, and the carry currently is what? Carry currently will be because I've left shifted it with one, right? Carry is nothing but A and B left shift one because I was getting this bit as one here, right? So I've left shifted it by one, so that's nothing but zero zero one zero, right? That's how I'm getting it. Now what I will do is I'll say. That a is equal to the sum, right? I'll say that okay, this number, this particular number that I'm getting, this particular zor value that I'm getting, I'll, I'll mark it as a, and whatever carry I'm getting, I'll mark it as b, right? So I'll mark this this as b now, right? Okay. So that's why what will happen is now now my a and b will get updated, okay? So now my a is what? Now my a is one zero zero, and that is nothing my the but my a, right? And now my b is what? B is nothing but zero one and zero, right? This is b. First of all, I'll do the zor operation to get the sum, right? To get the sum. I'll get the zor operation done. So zero, one, zero, right? And you can see that in this part, I, if I do the carry operation, right? If I do the carry operation, so I'll get nothing but zero, right? Because one zero zero and zero one zero, it will get, all the bits will be zero, right? In that case, I'll not get any carry. And whenever I do not get any carry, in that case, I can simply terminate because I'm getting the final answer, right? Okay, that's how we are going to do this particular uh, problem. Let's try and quickly see how we will actually be implementing this part. So basically, what I'll have is first of all, I'll have int carry. And I'll have the sum as well, right? So what I will say is that a while I'll run until my carry is not equal to zero, right? I'll run until this uh, thing that is my carry it's not equal to zero, right? So I'll say that while uh, carry is not equal to zero until and unless my carry is equal to zero, I'll be doing this, right? Initially, maybe right that is what you will do. And after, until and unless my carry is not equal to zero, I'll be doing this part, right? And what I'll say is that sum is equal to nothing, what? A is or B, right? That is how I'll calculate the sum. Sum is what? A is or B, right? Sum is nothing but A is or B, right? Uh, that is how I'll get the sum, and then I'll get the carry part, right? Carry is equal to nothing but what? A and B, right? A and B left shift one time, right? Basically, left shifting it by one so that I can change the carry, right? And then I'll say I'll update my I'll update my A. A is equal to nothing but sum, right? And B will be equal to what? B will be equal to carry, right? That is that is how I can update it. As I told you, right, and after this part is done, so basically in the end I can return the final sum that I have calculated, right? Let's try and quickly compile this and see if it works on the sample test cases or not. Seems to work on the samples. Uh, in in this part you can also mark the carry as B initially. Uh, basically that's uh, fine. Let's see if it works on the samples. It seems to work on the samples. Let's quickly submit this problem as well. So you can see that it was able to pass all the test cases. And now, what is the what is the time complexity for this particular approach, right? You know that we haven't take, taken any extra space, so that's why you will say that the space complexity for this particular approach will be order of one, right? But what will be the time complexity for this particular approach? Time complexity is going to be nothing but uh, order of nothing but the maximum bits, right? Maximum bits, right? Out of the two numbers, whichever uh, number is containing the maximum bit, so I'll say that it's going to be nothing but maximum bits. Out of the two numbers, right? Whichever number is having the maximum bits, that will be the overall time complexity for this particular approach. Maximum bits of a comma b, right? Whichever, uh, whichever is containing the uh, maximum set bit, uh, uh, that will be the time complexity of this particular approach. And in the at max, it will be order of thirty two. If the in, uh, give, uh, if the values are given in integer, then the maximum time will be order of thirty two, right? So that will be the approach. In case if you like this uh, approach and the video, so you can make sure to hit the like button, right? 
and comment down clear in the chat if you have understood this problem clearly thanks a lot for watching